I too grew up grew up in Arkansas, and I was glad to hear that the Arkansas Academy of Sciences is a sponsor for this organization because that was my introduction into science. Back in 1975, when I was in high, in high school, growing up in Yaleville, we stumbled across a cave that is now known as Svensson, Svensson Cave, if you Google it. Uh, but while in this cave, we were found upon uh, some Pleistocene Age uh, mountain lion bones. They were presented at the Arkansas Academy of Science. Uh, back in high school, I was enthralled with that. And from there on, it's, it's kind of been a science uh, career. Uh, I love the natural sciences in particular, although I do work as a, a, a clinical periodontist. Uh, so the hydrogeology is one of those ways that allows me to get back out in the wonders of Arkansas and explore all the back roads because I'm, I'm looking for springs. So if any of you know any natural springs, mineral springs, healing springs in the state of Arkansas, please come to me afterwards so we can talk springs. <laughs> But tonight I'm supposed to talk about dental science. Uh, my, my background uh, was in microbial colonization, how microbes adhere to the teeth. Uh, if they can't adhere to the teeth or the tissues, then we really don't have to worry about them because that's kind of the very first step in their infectious process. Uh, uh, following a, a getting the Master of Science in Oral Biology, looking at that, uh, I began to to uh, look at the dogma of dentistry because I noticed it was a restorative based principle. A lot of surgery, a lot of restoration. When he talks about prevention care, preventative care, my ears are perking up because I think dentists by and large have not given preventive care the full due uh, that we need to, and I hope we kind of get into that this evening. Uh, but anyway, you kind of know my background from uh, what Dorothy has said, so again, anything this evening, I'm glad to be here and uh, to answer your questions. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Okay, so the rest of the night is audience questions. Um, throw us a question up here. Whoever wants to can answer. All three of them can answer. They can kind of fight that out. Um, but we will do our best to repeat the question into the microphone since we have a split room that we are working with. So anybody have any questions? Yes. Yes. 